let's solve this these questions all these variations so tell me the answer for this quickly so how many positive integers less than 1000 so this is what we consider so r divisible by 7 that will be 999 divisible okay this will be the answer answer will be this next what is the answer for this r divisible by 7 but not by 11 r divisible by 7 but not by 11 so what you want actually you actually what you want you want this area this is what this is what you want this is what you want so i can say this area will be basically divisible by 7 minus by 7 and 11 okay so this is the idea divisible by 7 minus so i can say divisible by 7 this will be divisible by 7 minus divisible by 7 and 11 that is 77 7 and 11 that lcm so just this will be the lcm if you notice so lcm will be 77 next what is the answer for this are divisible by both both 7 and 11 that is lcm so just find the lcm both 7 and 11 so the lcm will be 77 so the answer will be 999 divided by 77 this will be the answer okay just find the lcm and just do it very simple next divisible by either 7 or 11 that will be 999 divisible by 7 plus divisible by 11 minus divisible by 77 next exactly one of 7 and 11 exactly one of them exactly one of them exactly one of 7 and 11 so what do you want this is your 7 this is your 11 what do you want this is what you want this is your desire this is your desired area okay so we want this i can say what will be the answer the answer will be the answer will be union first you find the union minus you do the intersection okay first you find the union so this answer let's call it the answer s let's call it answer s so from that what you do from this answer 7 or 11 what you do you remove this you remove this so from this you remove this 999 divided by 77 so actually what you are doing so you are okay you are doing this first you are okay by 7 plus by 11 minus two times you are removing you are removing this area two times 999 divided by 7 this area you are removing two times okay here you can take another note here you can take another note if you are if you want to find a exclusive b cardinality then what that will be a exclusive b cardinality a exclusive or b a comma b exclusive or i want i want this this is your exclusive or a exclusive or b so what that will be that will be equal to i can say union cardinality minus intersection cardinality or i can say a cardinality plus b cardinality minus two times minus two times you remove this area we don't want this area we don't want okay this area we don't want so either you can do from union you can remove intersection or you can do this or you can do this or you can do this find the only a plus only b okay all of them are fine only a or only b next what is the answer for this neither 7 nor 11 neither 7 nor 11 that is equal to 7 or 11 complement 7 or 11 complement so that is total minus that is total minus 7 or 11 that is total minus 7 or 11 so total is 999 from this you remove s from this you remove s this is this is the this is s so from this you remove s okay so this is what you want neither by 7 nor by 11 neither 7 nor 11 not by 7 and not by 11 so that is 7 or 11 complement so that is total minus 7 or 11 okay so that will be 999 minus s what is the answer for this have distinct digits what will you do if you want to find this have distinct digits how many positive integers from 1 to 99 
have distinct digits what are you going to do cases cases yes or no one digit one digit consider one digit number first you consider one digit number how many one digit number have distinct digits how many one digit number how many one digit positive integers have distinct digits total nine that will be total nine from one to nine then you consider two digits now you consider two digits so that will be nine you cannot take zero here nine multiplied by nine so that will be 81 because you, now you can take zero see here you cannot take zero here you cannot take zero so let me take five here you can take zero but distinct digits must be there so the answer will be this will be two digits two digit digit that is uh, 81 and what is for three digit for three digits you want three digits then here you have nine choices here again you have nine choices here you have eight choices this will be the answer now you add all of them now you add all of them that is your answer very simple next what is the answer for this have distinct digits and is even and that should be even so again you will create cases case one one digit so tell me one digit how many for one digit how many two digits three digits so for one digit how many we have from one to uh, nine from one to nine so there are only four there are only four see from one to nine the question is asking from one to nine the question is asking so only four are there single digit one digit how many two digit which are even also they should be distinct they should be even also so basically here you will have to create case again here you will have to create case when here you have zero and when you here you don't have zero so if you have zero then there will be nine choices here there will be nine choices here and when you don't have zero then there will be four choices when you don't have zero then there will be eight choices there will be eight choices so the answer will be what remember if you have zero here then there will be nine choices here you can put any of the nine here when you don't have zero here then there will be four choices here there will be four choices here and there will be eight choices here so the answer will be 32 plus 9 answer will be 41 answer will be 41 this type of this question we have already done so two digit how many will be there that will be 41 we have already seen this in the product rule even and distinct digits so you should take care this zero you have to handle separately we have already seen this so that will be 41 how many three digit again here you have to do these two cases you have to do when the last digit is zero and when the last digit is non zero so when the last digit is zero then here you have eight uh, here you have nine choices and then here you have eight choices okay and when the last digit is non zero then you have four choices here now you have eight choices here and for here you have eight choices so the answer will be for three digit the answer will be uh, this plus eight into eight into four so very simple this is another question from the iodb template now the question is asking x1 should be less than equal to three x2 should be less than equal to four x3 should be less than equal to six do we have direct formula for this you can handle greater case this case you can handle right see if i ask you this case if i ask you greater than three like if i ask you greater than three if i ask you greater than three greater than four greater than six if i ask you this greater than three greater than four greater than six now what is the answer now the answer will be what when you have x1 is greater than 3 it means directly give 4 to x1 okay so directly give 4 to x1 directly give 5 to so directly give 4 to x1 basically directly give 4 to x1 directly give 5 to x2 and directly give 7 to this so 7 plus 5 plus 4 so that will be 0 the answer will be the okay there is nothing remains so i can say this is not possible so answer will be zero how many solutions will be there 
how many solutions of this equation such that x1 greater than 0 x2 greater than 4 x3 greater than 6 answer will be 0 yes or no because it is not possible right yes correct it is not possible it is not possible that uh, no solution there is no solution there is no solution where x1 is greater than 3 x2 is greater than 4 x3 is greater than 6 there is no solution i can say there is no such solution it's like Santa, okay, all the chocolates will be empty. Like if you give four chocolate to X1, if you give uh, seven, cho seven uh, for example, if you give five chocolate to X2, seven chocolate to X, uh, X3. Now there is no remaining. First of all, you can't even do this. Only 11 chocolates you have. So Santa has 11 chocolates. So you don't have enough chocolates. Okay, so you can't do this. There is no such solution. Now let's see this one. How will you solve it? So the idea is very simple. Inclusion exclusion principle. Inclusion exclusion principle. So what you do from the you want this. This should be less than equal to three. This should be less than equal to four. This should be less than equal to six. So what you can do from total. From total. Okay, just find total without restriction. Find total without restriction without restriction you find without restriction you find then what you do you remove when x1 is greater than or equal to 4 this you remove yes or no you remove x1 is greater than equal to 4 or x2 is greater than equal to 5 or x3 is greater than equal to 7 this you remove yes or no this is what we will remove first you find total First you find total, then you remove when this happens or this happens or this happens. This you remove. Okay, what is total? What is the total? Total will be means without restriction, no negative integers, no negative integers. So the total will be that will be 11 stars plus two bars. So this will be the okay, 30, 30, 13 C2. So this will be the total now from this you remove from this you remove when this happens or this happens or this happens so tell me how okay this is what i want x1 greater than equal to 7 how many for this sorry x1 is greater than equal to 4 how many for this when x1 is greater than equal to 4 means you are giving direct 4 chocolate to x1 directly you are giving 4 chocolate to x1 so 7 chocolates are remaining so in this case 7 chocolates are remaining and now two bars C2. Similarly, when X2 is greater than or equal to five, then, the, okay, then you are giving, then you are giving five, uh, five chocolates you are giving to X2. So the remaining chocolate is six, six plus two C2. X3 is greater than or equal to seven. X3 is greater than or equal to seven. So you are giving seven chocolate directly to, say, uh, so there will be four chocolate remaining. So this you got. Okay, this is what we got. But now remember, this is your inclusion exclusion principle. What else I need? If I want this, then what I need? For example, I want x1 is greater than or equal to 4, or x2 is greater than or equal to 5, or x3 is greater than or equal to 7. This will be equal to what? This is union. This or this or this. So what that will be? That will be that. Let's call it A. Let's call it B. Let's call it C. So that will be when A is there, when B is there, when C is there, minus when AB happens, minus when AC happens, minus when BC happens, plus when ABC happens. So this is your this is your A. Okay, this is your A. We got A. This is your B, we got B. This is your C, we got C. Now tell me what is A B? What is A B? Means X1 is greater than or equal to 4 x2 is greater than or equal to 5 what is that so four chocolate to x1 five chocolate so there are two chocolate remaining there are two chocolate remaining two bars c2 four c2 okay this is your ab what is bc what is bc bc means x2 is greater than or equal to 5 x3 is greater than or equal to 7 that is not possible right because only 11 chocolate you have only 11 chocolate you have 
five chocolate you are giving to x two, seven chocolate you are giving to x three. This is not possible. So there is zero. This number of ways is zero. And what is for AC? X one is greater than equal to four. X three is greater than equal to seven. How many are? How many ways? There is no remaining chocolate. So only one way, right? Only one way. And finally, what will? Okay, ABC. ABC means x one greater than equal to four, x two greater than equal to five, and x three greater than equal to seven. There is zero way. So your answer will be what? So the answer you can just check. The answer will be nine C two plus eight C two plus six C two minus four C two. Minus zero, minus one, and plus zero. This will be the answer. Okay, is it clear? So this type of variation you can handle. Like in the IODB also, they can ask you this variation. This is the similar variation. There are twenty donuts from four variety. You want to select twenty donuts you want from four variety. Okay, and there is large selection of. These two, these two donut, these two variety have large uh, enough selection, but there are only five chocolates and only three jelly left. Only five chocolate, only three jelly left. Now what you should do? What should be the answer? So basically, you have like G plus M plus chocolate plus jelly. The total you want, you want to select twenty. Total you want twenty, but the condition is given to you. There is no restriction on G comma M. There is no restriction. G can be anything. M can be anything. There is no restriction on them. But there is restriction. What is the restriction? Only five chocolates are there. So how many chocolates you can take in the shop? In the shop, only five chocolates are there. How many chocolates you can take? At most five you can take, right? Okay, at most five chocolates you can take, and at most three jelly you can take. So these conditions are there. These restrictions are there. now what is what will be the answer what will be the answer answer will be total minus total minus when there is no restriction minus when chocolates are greater than equal to 6 or or jelly are greater than equal to 4 yes or no when chocolates are greater than equal to 6 or jelly are greater than equal to 4 what is total what is total 20 stars 3 bars C twenty, C three, okay. So this will be the total minus, minus. C greater than equal to. So this will be chocolates is at least okay six chocolates, and this is jelly greater than equal to four, and this is both. C greater than equal to six and jelly greater than equal to four. So what will be this? When chocolates are greater than equal to six, it means six chocolates are gone. It means fourteen. Okay, so fourteen are remaining. Plus how many bars? Three. C three. Here four are gone. So I can say sixteen. C sixteen uh, plus three. C three. And here ten are gone. So that will be ten plus three. C three. This will be the answer. So this inclusion exclusion principle is very important, right? So basically. Number of selection without restriction. When you have more than five chocolate, and when you have more than three uh, these uh, chocolate donuts or more than three jelly donuts. So like this you can do. Did you understand inclusion exclusion principle? And did you see how many variety of problem you can solve using it? A lot of questions you can solve. A lot of questions. you can solve using inclusion exclusion principle like this is your i iodb this is your iodb with inclusion exclusion yes or no this is your iodb this is your iodb with inclusion exclusion principle so inclusion exclusion principle is very 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 important and there are many applications of it many questions you can solve using inclusion exclusion principle